Hey all, it's Jake from Optimum, and today I was looking at the Smartsheet community forum and came across this post from Abby Davis asking if there are any uh, purchase order tracking templates within Smartsheet. Uh, I've completed a few of these processes for clients in the past, so I wanted to share what I'd learned with them uh, as well as with you. Uh, so what they were asking for here was they wanted to see that when uh, items are fully invoiced and uh, what items are still pending payment, as well as the total that they're expecting from those invoices and those pending payments. Uh, so what I did is I opened up a sheet, I added a uh, automatic PO number tracking number, uh, a vendor column that lists the, the, all the vendors that they work with, uh, status, uh, a price, an invoice date, and I also made it so that you could enter this via a form. So if you wanted to make it so uh, an individual could manually uh, enter the data into the sheet, you could, or you could have it entered through a form thusly, and then go ahead and submit that information. Um, once it is submitted, we would then see it pop up in our uh, sheet, of course, here, uh, once we give it the good old refresh. And uh, we'll see, see this line item populate. Now what we can do on top of this is I wanted to automate uh, basically everything having to do with the invoice, right? So uh, what, the, what Abby wanted to do was add an invoice to each line as an attachment. And then using that, uh, I decided to trigger both a status update and a uh, date recording. And how I did that was pretty easy. I just went into the automation tab here. And I created two different workflows. Uh, one that was for updating the status when an attachment is added, and the other for recording a date when the attachment is added, right? So that whenever uh, an invoice is attached to a particular purchase order on a line, uh, it both updates the status from new to invoice paid, and from uh, a blank date to the invoice date, so we can always track how long it's been since we issued that invoice. Having that information there, that would allow us to send out additional alerts both to clients or internally, telling us uh, like how long it's been since something's been due, if something's still pending, uh, all that good stuff. So this allows a, a lot of additional kind of functionality uh, along with what Abby was requesting. So we went ahead and uh, put those automations in there. As you can see, uh, we can then update uh, any of these invoices that are issued to invoice paid if we'd like to. Um, however, their main request was to be able to track um, what payments are still pending and see uh, how much has already been uh, uh, purchased by each particular vendor, right? So what I did is I created uh, two reports in this instance uh, to show this information based on that underlying sheet. So we went ahead and opened this sheet here and uh, what we're doing is we're filtering it to just the items where the invoice is issued. So this, this report is specifically to see uh, how, many, how much is still pending to pay uh, from each individual vendor, right? So uh, I filtered out everything besides uh, the invoice issued, and then I went ahead and grouped it by uh, vendor to get this nice grouping we see. And then of course I summarized it and changed the uh, value here to sum so that we can get this roll up here and see how much is owed uh, both total and per vendor. Uh, so this is a nice easy view to see uh, which vendors still have open payments uh, and how much they still owe us, as well as allowing us to hop directly to the relative line on the underlying project and see the details there. So this is a great easy view uh, to see the, the pending payments. And then I completed a different uh, report to basically see the completed payments because I thought this was a little cleaner than stacking it together personally and I thought they'd probably be viewed in uh, separate instances. Now if you did want to see them together you could of course add a separate group on this sheet. You'd, you'd want to rename the report in this case uh, but you could also group this by uh, status and expand the filtering criteria to include both the uh, pending invoices as well as the completed invoices. And in this way, you could see them all in one place, um, though I think that it's a little bit more cluttered and maybe a little bit less organized than it would be otherwise, right? So you see there's a lot more information in here now, but per vendor, we can now see uh, the invoices issued as well as the invoices paid uh, for each specific vendor. And you can reduce these uh, to make it a little bit easier to, to parse through. And of course, we still have our total purchase order prices, um, both the total uh, across each individual category as well as per category, so you can see that. Um, so this is a good way to show them together if you'd like. 
You could also do this with a sheet with cross sheet formulas and uh, show it that way. You'd want to do it that way if you wanted to say graph this information. However, I thought this gave a little bit added, of added functionality because of that ability to link down to the underlying, have the invoice attachment right there ready to use. Uh, so yeah, those are just a few tips around how to uh, maybe organize a purchase order sheet for you uh, and some tips on how to automate some basic stuff to give you some uh, added in information and functionality down the road. Hope that was helpful. If you have anything else that you would like to add to a purchase order sheet or any processes you like to use for purchase orders, please comment down below. And thanks for your time.